well. It's been a wonder, really. It's just unlike anything I've ever been a part of. Sometimes I'll walk around and I'll just have like something in my hand and I'll just forget that I can't make things move. The job we have to do is to make it seem natural and you kind of have to ignore your own sense of wonder, you know, watching it. It's incredibly exciting. We're working directly with JK. It's her first screenplay. It's this vivid, lively, beautiful world that Jo has created. It's her magical universe, but transposed to New York in 1926. There's one English gentleman called Newt's Commander who turns up in New York with a suitcase full of rather extraordinary creatures. Some of his beasts get out of the case. And this one catalyst sets in motion a sort of insane amount of events that just cause chaos. And at the core of it is this quartet. There are three other central characters. There's Tina Goldstein. Tina's very soulful. She has a lot of heart and strength and courage. She has a sister, Queenie. So you have two sisters who have raised each other and have a very deep bond. And lastly, there is Jacob, a muggle, or a nomad, as it's called in this world. Jacob is back from the war, and now he's trying to get his life together and open up a bakery. He just happens into this very magical situation. All four central characters are outsiders. Part of the journey of this, for each of them, is coming into themselves. This film will appeal to all. It's funny, it's moving, it's thrilling. There's just so much meaning in her stories and so much heart fans of Harry Potter, they're going to feel the nostalgia and the love they have in the movies in a whole new light. It's like imagination taken to the extreme. Era aperta? Solo un pizzico, sì. Ieri un mago è entrato a New York con una valigia. Una valigia piena di creature magiche. E purtroppo alcune sono scappate. Solo un pizzico, sì. Signor Scamander! Ciao a tutti, sapevate che Eddie Redmayne ha frequentato alcuni corsi all'Eton College insieme al principe William? Sì. Redmayne è anche molto amico di Benedict Cumberbatch. Entrambi gli attori, sapete, hanno interpretato Stephen Hawking. Cumberbatch in Hawking e Redmayne in La teoria del tutto. Chi preferite tra i due attori? Fatemi sapere nei commenti qui sotto e cliccate qui accanto per rimanere con me. Ciao!